They lie to our faces, lies after lies after lies. They even program you to believe the lies. And you're still programmed up to this day. But that said, let's get into it. When you think about racial equality and civil rights, which political party comes to mind? The Republicans or the Democrats? Most people would probably say the Democrats, but this answer is incorrect. Since its founding in 1829, the Democratic Party has fought against every major civil rights initiative and has a long history of discrimination. The Democratic Party defended slavery, started the Civil War, opposed Reconstruction, founded the Ku Klux Klan, imposed segregation, perpetrated lynchings, and fought against the Civil Rights Acts of the 1950s and 1960s. It's all right there. Let's look at it, that list, while they're pushing the um, agenda of reparations. They're pushing, they're pushing the agenda of reparations because they have some type of guilt? I don't know. Maybe. But let's look at that list. Slavery, the Civil War, Reconstruction, the Ku Klux Klan, segregation, lynchings, Civil Rights Act. Let's continue. In contrast, the Republican Party was founded in 1854 as an anti-slavery party. Its mission was to stop the spread of slavery into the new Western territories with the aim of abolishing it entirely. This effort, however, was dealt a major blow by the Supreme Court in the 1857 case, Dred Scott versus Sanford. The court ruled that slaves aren't citizens, they're property. The seven justices who voted in favor of slavery, all Democrats, the two justices who dissented, both Republicans. The slavery question was, of course, ultimately resolved by a bloody civil war. The commander in chief during that war was the first Republican president, Abraham Lincoln, yeah. the man who freed the slaves. Mm -hmm. Six days after the Confederate army surrendered, John Wilkes Booth, a Democrat, assassinated President Lincoln. Lincoln's vice president, a Democrat. All right, I had to pause it, guys. What does that look, look like to you? Backstabbing, right? Never turn your back. What do the Democrats known to be doing? Lie. Backstabbers. They lie to your face and promise you so many things, they don't even give you 1% of what they promise you. Biden, the first, the first, his first day in office, that first week, he lied straight to the American people, right to our faces, the first week in office. Assassinated President Lincoln. Lincoln's vice president, a Democrat named Andrew Johnson, assumed the presidency. But Johnson adamantly opposed Lincoln's plan to integrate the newly freed slaves into the South's economic and social order. Johnson and the Democratic Party were unified in their opposition to the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery, the 14th Amendment, which gave blacks citizenship, and the 15th Amendment, which gave blacks the vote. All three passed only because of universal Republican support. During the era of Reconstruction, federal troops stationed in the South helped secure rights for the newly freed slaves. Hundreds of black men were elected to Southern state legislatures as Republicans, and 22 black Republicans served in the U.S. Congress by 1900. The wow. Democrats did not elect a black man to Congress until 1935. But after Reconstruction ended, when the federal troops went home, Democrats roared back into power in the South. They quickly reestablished white supremacy across the region with measures like black codes, laws that restricted the ability of blacks to own property and run businesses, and they imposed poll taxes and literacy tests used to subvert black citizens' right to vote. And how was all of this enforced? by terror, much of it instigated by the Ku Klux Klan, founded by a Democrat, Nathan Bedford Forrest. I As historian Eric Foner, himself a Democrat, notes, in effect, the Klan was a military force serving the interests of the Democratic Party. President Woodrow Wilson, a Democrat, shared many views with the Klan. He resegregated many federal agencies 
and even screened the first movie ever played at the White House, the racist film, The Birth of a Nation, originally entitled The Klansman. A few decades later, the only serious congressional opposition to the landmark Civil Rights Act of 1964 came from Democrats. 80% of Republicans in Congress supported the bill, less than 70% of Democrats did. Democratic senators filibustered the bill for 75 days until Republicans mustered the few extra votes needed to break the log jam. And when all of their efforts to enslave blacks keep them enslaved, and then keep them from voting had failed, the Democrats came up with a new strategy. If black people are going to vote, they might as well vote for Democrats. As President Lyndon Johnson was purported to have said about the Civil Rights Act, I'll have them as voting Democrat for 200 years. So now... Wow, so it was true. Somebody commented on one of my videos and said that. He said that same quote right there. I will have those voting Democrats for 200 years. Hey, shout out to who commented that on my video. That That's what we think. I was like, wait a minute. Is that true? No, I'm seeing it right here for myself. Wow. The Democratic Party prospers on the votes of the very people it has spent much of its history oppressing. Democrats falsely claim that the Republican Party is the villain, when in reality, yes. it's the failed policies of the Democratic Party that have kept blacks down. Massive government welfare has decimated the black family. Opposition to school choice has kept them trapped in failing schools. Oh my God, look how true this video is. This was, this looked like it was 2016, 2000, somewhere around there. It's since six years ago. You see what I, was, what I was showing you guys with a single father and they pay you more as a single mother? That was almost six, seven years ago. Separation of the home. Wow. This, they strate strategically planned this because it's working very perfectly. You, you have to admit, it is working very perfectly. They pay, whoever they paid to strategize this, <laughs> they did a hell of a good job because this is exactly what's happening right now. Unbelievable. I, I'm just shocked. I, it's just mind blowing how they program you. Family, opposition to school choice has kept them trapped and fail in schools, politically correct policing has left black neighborhoods defenseless against violent crime. So when you think about racial equality and civil rights, which political party should come to mind? I'm Carol Swain, professor of political science and law at Vanderbilt University for Prager University. Hey, there you have it, guys. So they actually, they program you into a lie. All of this was planned out. He just said, if, if the blacks are able to vote, I'm going to have them voting for me for 200 something plus years, making you believe they're all for the black people, but they're the one that was known for oppressing the black people and have you thinking the Republicans are for the rich people, Democrats are for the poor, that go going through poverty. It's mind blowing. And then you've seen the picture with, um, with Abraham Lincoln, with the guy behind him. The Democrat, when you sit down and you think, I don't know why people can't do that for themselves. Like when I sit down and I think, and the reason why my eyes open, well, I've been programmed, I ain't going to lie, myself, I've been programmed for 20 years of my life, believing that, that Democrats are for the poor, Republicans for the rich. Until COVID, and that's um, opened up a lot of time for me. So I was able to do a lot of research, stuff like that. And it was mind blowing, the stuff that I found. And I'm, look, I'm still learning because some of the stuff I'm still shocked to learn. The Democrats are all for separating the family. Because when you look in the black community, I don't know why people don't sit down and think for themselves. And then you think about the, the states that's run by Democrats. It has the most violence, the most poverty. People are struggling. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good black people in those states that just doing what they got to do day by day just to, just to get by. But the violence, the unnecessary violence, they make us in those states hate each other. Instead of realizing who the real enemies are. And they t they're the ones, let's let, let's know how crazy this is, right? They have us fighting some, uh, fighting amongst each other. I'm just talking about the black community for now. And then have you thinking that they're on your side. And they're telling you, yes, the Republicans, the, those on that side are racist. So you're fighting amongst your own brothers and sisters and siding with the same people that's strategically oppressing you without you even knowing it. And have you thinking that 
the other side is against you. Not, 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 not giving you the time to sit back and realize that in the state that you're living in, that you're living in, it's nothing but poverty and pain. So if, there's, if they're telling you the Republicans are all about the rich and the um, Democrats are for the poor, shouldn't Democrats be doing more for the black community? Shouldn't, shouldn't the black community be flourishing? This shouldn't be poverty. Because they're the ones that tell you the Republicans are racist. So they're the ones that's in power of your state. Why is your state not doing well? Why they have you out there robbing, looting, home invasions? They, they, they have you getting arrested. They're cleaning out the streets. These young kids are being arrested at young age. They have you oppressing yourself without you knowing that you're secretly oppressing your own self. It goes deep. What that, yeah, I, I, I was have a lot to learn about this, but it's, it's, it's very deep how they actually did that and accomplished that. And they're using that tactic by using other black Democrats to oppress you. How are you going to have a rich black guy on the, on the left telling you that you're being oppressed while he's rich and he's telling you? You, you don't sit back and tell him, like, bro, why are you saying we're oppressed? But how come you got rich and successful? Something adding up here. Come on, we got to start taking for ourselves. Otherwise, the poverty and pain is going to continue for more years to come. Look at, look at the new man in Chicago. He's making excuses for, for, for the teens robbing and looting the stores. There's no accountability. There's no prosecutions. If you steal this much, we can't prosecute you. <laughs> now picture everybody coming in that store stealing everything worth $900. See if you got 100 people, how much is that? You're losing a lot of money. Yo, that this is it's mind blowing. That it, it, it just goes so deep. Hey, man, hope you guys share this video. I hope a lot of my Black um, American subscribers, if my Black people from different countries, get to see this video. This is just it's crazy. And the separation of the home of the father not being there. Look, look at all these young kids in the street. The, a lot of them, the parents are not. The father is not home. I'm not saying single mothers can't do a good job. Cause I, I came from a single mother home, and I end up being well. And, su and successful but the majority that's living in the poverty and the pain that's where the hard struggle of a single mother takes into action because she has to work harder probably work two three jobs so she ain't got that much time to spend with with, with with her son or daughter you see what i'm saying but if you had a two-parent home it, it, it will work out a little different it would sometimes the dad would be home so you know the dad you know what I'm saying? We'll maybe spend the time with the son or the mom. But if the mom is only the one only working, when she that one when that day off comes, she's tired. She wanna sleep. Then you all there running the streets. Hey, it's it's crazy, man. And it, I'm ended with this right here. I could go on and on. This type of subject is very um intriguing. But um look what look what the, look look in these states, right? The Democrat states, look what they give to the black community. Everything that they give to the black community is nothing but destructive. They give you drill music. They give you the fashion, the wear, making you think every, every time you get some money, you got to buy some chains. You got to buy the clothes. You got to buy the shoes. Even if you ain't got money. Like that. But when you're spending that money, you're not able to save. You see, you see what I'm going? You're not able to get out of that ghetto or, or, or wherever, sub, wherever that you're living that is poverty. Because you're spending money. You're thinking, how are you living? You can, you, next week, you got to think about how I got to pay the rent. But you just spent your money, your check. On a shoe that's worth four hundred and fifty dollars, instead of buying a shoe that's worth maybe eighty to a hundred dollars, maybe one hundred and twenty the most. It's a culture thing. I see some people <laughs> in, in some in, in some of the video when, they, when I look at certain states and you see people wearing all these nice clothes, but the house looks like it's run down. You come looking all fresh, but your house is run down. Hey man, it, this goes deep. Give me you guys think about this in the comments, man. This is very deep. And, and I, I like that I'm taking this path and the journey into this type of subject and learning as I go because there's a lot more than I need to learn. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys put in the same boat as me. Give me guys think about this in the comments, man. This is unbelievable. Until then, I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.